Fantasy Bird, welcome back to LEGO Brick Tales. Today, we are heading into the fifth and maybe even final world, the Caribbean. Ooh, so with this one, of course, we need to continue the story, try to get some more happiness crystals to restore this park. Hopefully, it all goes well. So we're hopping in right away to see what the adventure has in store for us. We're starting on a little beach. And we gotta explore the beach. I could already build something right over here. This is a... Uh, you're on the beach, you have to build a sand castle. Okay, I'll do that in just a moment. I wanna look around a little bit, maybe see if there's anybody to talk to. This looks like a chef. Uh, pirate cook Francois. Zoo hello, oh, I'm so bad at French accents. I'm just not even going to. <laughs> Finally, I'm back to, to asking this This is a capitan to send Zuzu chefs for days. Like, I just, I can't. And now, you're here. Bien. Uh, sure. We're here to help. I'm so glad that I renewed my food handler's permit. The crew is ravenous. Every day they say to me, Francois, they say, you must make us the coconutty macaroons. They are so delicious. Yes, chef. Am I made of the coconuts with coconut arms and coconut head? None. No, you are not, chef. How many coconuts do you need, chef? We make a double batch. Du fois du. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. Four. Bring me four coconuts. All right, then. So we'll do that. Um. I mean, the, the coconuts. Okay, so we'll be looking around for some coconuts. Hopefully we'll find some, but in the meantime, okay, there's one right here on the floor. I like how it's like a little Lego head. Coconut, Harry contains milk. Morphologically speaking, it could be a mammal. Huh. No, I've never really thought about it that way. Oh, and there's something we can slam here? Oh, we're, we're bringing the coconuts down. Okay, gotcha. So I'll go ahead and put these coconuts together. We have all four of them. All right, how many coconuts was that? Un, du, trois, quatre, four. That's all of them. We must return to the chef. Uh, so let's go and talk to the chef right over here. Next, please, repair is a big cart. Pig cart? We have no horses on the island, so we make do with the pigs. They are loyal, clean, and tres intelligent. I agree. We will need their help if we were to move the coconuts back to the camp to pirates. All right, then. So we have to go and interact with the pigs. But before we do that, let's go ahead and build the sand castle. I gotta build a sand castle. All right then, so, ooh, and there's all the pieces to build like a nice proper sand castle here, so that's cool. Um, I don't know how I wanna get started. I guess just with a couple pieces like this. Never been a big beach person, but you know, I, I don't disagree. When you're out there, you, you gotta, you gotta build a sand castle. So, going to try to make it properly, you know, castle-y. Let's do that. Wait, is that all I have there? That is, okay. So, I could, oh, you know what? Let me do this somewhere. It's just like that for now. Um, I wish they had a a one by two. Hmm. Here, how, how could I maybe better do this? Let's do this. And then maybe, still, even like that, it, because of the odd numbers, it just doesn't match up super well. So. We're just, we're just gonna leave it like that for now and uh, try some other things. Um, hmm. I guess what I could do actually, I didn't notice there were two of these, so you just flip it on this side. I'm making this very overcomplicated, but it's okay. There you go, much better. And then with that, maybe we could make like a little pillar on this side or something. Hmm. I'm trying to find out exactly how I want to do this, but. I just want to do something like this, and then we just keep it to the outside. The inside can sort of be hollow. But we could put yeah something like that, so that on the tippity top of it, yeah, we could do. Um, can we put these in the center of it? We can't really. Can we put this in the center of it? No. Okay, so put that there. Got to put the bucket somewhere. You know, it sort of fits. I think somewhere. I would hope. I guess not. Hmm. We may be in the back. No, okay, I cannot fit this bucket anywhere, so I guess we'll leave that unless I can do this. Oh, there we go. You just had the switch to handle. So we'll do something like this, maybe right over there. Um, and then I'll just make it so it's got a slant here. There you go. It's something. It's not the best sandcastle of all time, but it's... It's probably better than what I could do in real life. So there we go, a little sand castle's been built, and now we'll figure out this pig cart. Build a small cart to transport coconuts. Um, sure, so this 
needs to keep the coconuts in the target area. Nothing may break and we need to wait some time. So for this one, it actually needs to be nice and sturdy. So let's be sure to get that area covered. I think the best thing yet to start would be to do that. And then, hmm. Actually, what if I did these two? Well, hmm. I think these are fine, actually. And then I could, how wide is this? This is four wide, so it doesn't exactly cover it the way I want. But this well, so I could just flip this to the side. There you go, just to make that a bit sturdier. And if like, we were to simulate this, as you can see, it doesn't hold on very well for right now. I don't exactly know the best way to deal with that, how you know, to make it not fall over, but for right now, we're just not gonna worry about that part too much. And I just want to, I think actually I want these ones. Yeah, okay, so move that over. Because as you can see, it actually lets you go out quite far. You could go out right way over the pigs. It does it need to attach to the pigs? Um. Huh. I guess you could attach it to the pigs. All right. Um. Hmm. How exactly are we going to do that? What if I did that? Okay. This is getting peculiar pretty quickly. And I did this just to see it's way more stable now. Way more stable. So that's a good start. We're not quite done though. Um. Let's just try to make the bottom of it as evened out as we can manage. And the best way to do that would be, yeah, put that there and then put this back here and back here. There we go. So now we have a stable cart that's flat at the bottom. I could start adding pieces like this, but the only problem is it's not everything I need it to be just yet. Um, yeah, we'll do this and then duplicate it, bring the same thing over here. See, why can't this one? Oh no, 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 it could. It just wasn't lining me. There we go, so now we have a super flat. That's great, okay, so let's do this as much as we can. And then, hmm, I guess I could just bring those over and do this. It's not the most, you know, perfectly symmetrical thing, but, and that's all I have of those. So let's just simulate this and see how many land. Most of them. Yeah, the we gotta keep, uh, oh, in that specific target area. Okay, so actually, this needs to be here. So let's do that and first simulate this. You can see some of them fall out. So we need every single coconut to stay in. And that's where things can get a bit complicated, but I'll do what I can with it. Because we still have two over this way. Try it again. Much better, much better. Okay, I think we did it. Looking good. So let's finish that one. And we made ourselves a pig cart for the coconuts. All right, so let's talk to you again. Tres bien. The crew will be pleased. Now we return to the captain. Captain. moi. I don't know. Follow me to the secret hideout. I, I don't know any French. It's it's not a language I'm very familiar with. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to any French fanatics out there. So we need to follow the crew to the pirate base. But before we do, we can build a raft. There's just random things around here we can just build that don't seem to contribute to anything, which is neat. We have an experience on with the other areas. So cover the dotted area from the top with bricks. Place the mass and place the test robot. So for this one, how do we want to do this? Um, hmm. Because this won't reach across all the way. I don't know if any of the pieces will. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, how do we make this stable? I guess for now I could try to add these. Cause none of the pieces reach across all the way and that's just sort of the weird thing. So what if I were to do something like this? Oh, do I only have two of those? Oh my gosh, not much. But with those I could at least connect this. It doesn't seem like much, but it, you know, it's something. Like I said, I'm just trying to get some stability, I think, for right now. Actually, this doesn't really match up very well. It's, it's gonna be lopsided on one side or the other. Jeez, this is weird. Um, I mean, this one's not required for the, the thing, right? And I only get two of those two. I feel like I'm not getting any good pieces for this. Um, 
I think this is just like a random one, like the sandbox. I don't think it's actually a part of the story at all. So maybe I could just leave it for later. But we'll try it, at least live it a little bit. We gotta give it a good shot, right? So there's that. And then I can maybe do that. And then this. My question is like, all that stuff, how do you get that covered, you know? That seems like a mess. Uh, what if I were to just, oh no, bring those in. Seems to be a bit better. No, no, no. There you go. So if I were just to really quickly, oh, I can't even test it. So with this one, there's no, it doesn't need to not break. So that's something to keep in mind. We don't need to worry about this one breaking. Okay. Does that mean we just, you know, need to make sure everything's properly covered then? That's not so bad. Hmm. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I might wanna do something like that. Oh, okay. I was like, why is that not working? Um. Oh, that sort of points outward, so that doesn't work. We'll put that there. We can actually get a couple of those in each one of those, but I don't know if that's exactly what I want for right now. Um. Right now I'm just trying to make sure all these pieces cover everything like it's supposed to then. Um, so, so I could do this. I could do this, oh no. And I could do this. I don't know if that's the best idea though. So let's get rid of these two and these because once again, if it doesn't need to be stable, which it's not saying it requires it, you know? The number one thing is just making sure that these top pieces are covered. The only issue with that, right, is that there's no way to build out from it in a way that I can actually cover those from the top. It feels like no matter what I do, that's the case. Cause like if I build this over, right? You can see that under it, it requires a piece directly on top. And that's just so weird with the starting pieces that we had. Like how do we do that? What if we once again did that? Cause before I was trying to lay out foundations for stability. Well, let's not worry about stability right now. Um, instead, I have one more extra three piece here. I guess I could just put it there. And that does count. This gets so complicated so fast though. It, it's bizarre. Um, it feels like no matter what I do, it feels technically wrong. I don't quite know how to, like I gotta be going to about something incorrectly here, you know? Because none of it feels like I'm doing it correctly with how this works. Okay, so I think I'm getting somewhere with this. The hardest part has just been, like I said, making sure all these pieces are covered, but we finally got it. Okay, um, that's good. Cause now I have to do, it's just been so difficult to actually get all those covered up the way I did, but I think I got it. There we go, okay, we finished it. So yeah, you can see I put like the square piece here the square piece there, and then on the alternate ones, I put the long piece there, and the long piece there. You can see I actually laid it over top there, and that seemed, yeah, I put them over top of the squares, instead of actually putting them on the, so you can see the stud is free floating here, because it's not about, you know, balance or anything. So, there we go, that worked. Okay, so I could, of course, uh, wait, I could use it? Where are we going? Whoa, okay. I didn't know, if I, was I supposed to do all this for the story after all? The game didn't really tell me. Oh, this is where the shop is, okay. And when this is where we can get the ladybug, this is where we could, uh, I guess, alter the raft a little bit. Interesting. Hi, fisherwoman. Fishing for days and nothing but they use trinkets and gems. Maybe the fish here are hiding further in the water. Can you build me a pier? Sure. So build a pier for the fisherwoman. All right, now this one's a little bit more complicated as you can see. We need to cover the dotted area from the top with bricks, leave a walkable path to the end of the pier, and place the finish the fishing essentials. Okay, so, interesting. There is actually a lot of unique rules to this one, but I guess we could start with something like this, right? Yeah, definitely. So, that's not too bad just to do something like this, but I do get a little worried at this spot. Hmm, well, I think that's okay. I mean, I wish it reached. That's our longest piece though, so if that doesn't reach nothing well. Um, but once again, this is another one that doesn't need to be weight balanced. 
So that's a really big thing to keep in mind, is that this does not need to be weight balanced at all. The only problem is, how do we get something over this piece here? You know, that's where it gets a little complicated, but I guess what we could do is these little inverted tiles, these inverted bricks. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, that's a game changer. Okay, so, got it. That actually helps out a lot, more than you'd think. So what we can do with that is we could even just build something like that, but I would like to use this one, but unfortunately it won't count because it arcs in the perfect fashion for, because that's what we don't need. Um, hmm. I think for right now, we might as well do this, because uh, this covers up a fair amount. There you go. Because uh, what we could do if I really need to, oh, I only have so many of them. Darn, uh, cause could I? Yeah, I could do this. Okay, maybe we're not in such bad shape. There you go. Um, and then do the same thing on the other side. So, I have to flip it, sort of. There you go. Got it, okay, so, that doesn't seem like it works for now, but it will in just a moment, cause we will do something like this. Oh no, and then, ah. Duplicate this. I do need some pieces out this way. But yeah, I guess using it on the underside of this, and I guess this is something I didn't really think about before with the previous one, is that because we're not building in a way that needs to make sense for actually, you know, what's it called? Uh, I guess just, you know, building integrity. Oh, the slanted pieces there are getting me. Mm, because it doesn't matter much. If, if it looks a little silly, I could always just do that. There you go. Actually, I like that. That looks nice. So there's that done. But yeah, I was so focused on building integrity that I just didn't really... Okay, the only problem now is that I don't have enough space for everything. So I guess we could actually make it all a bit wider if we, we des desired. Hmm. Yeah, I still have four of these, so you know, let's go for it. Do something like that. And then... Back here, maybe just, I know it's, it's definitely not going to be the most symmetrical piece. But hey, if it works, it works. So now I just need to get the umbrella there. A little thing here and the fishing rod. Okay, not too bad. I will, I think I'll forgo those pieces so that we can just keep moving forward. Well, are these not the essentials? Place the fishing essentials. The, all the fishing essentials need to be, wait a minute, it gave it to me for a second, but then this got in the way of the path. There we go, finish. All right then, so you seem to be pretty happy with it. Can I talk to you from here? <laughs> it might be a little too crowded, uh-oh. Um, hmm, I wonder what I can do to maybe fix that so that we can actually go and talk to her. Uh, but maybe this, and then Actually, put this one here, put that there. If that counts, I'll do that, so I can actually just go talk to her. Here we go. Still nothing but these precious treasures. Fish and stinks. Thanks for trying anyway. You think anyone would be willing to buy this stuff? Uh, definitely. I think plenty of people would be interested, but not me. So, uh, let's go into here and talk to Boo, since we didn't see Boo last episode. I couldn't find them in the city. Uh, Let's see what things happen here. Are you interested in me wares? You can pay me in clams. So if we find some clams, we'll bring them back to Boo. Now we know exactly where, so that's nice. Yeah, interesting, there's been a lot of builds that don't directly contribute to the story, which regularly, as we've experienced, isn't a thing. Usually they all have some kind of element to get us to the next part in the story or are blockading us to the wherever we need to go next. But that was just totally extra, so definitely interesting. But let's continue our Caribbean uh, exploration here as we go north. And whoa, now this is a proper pirate town. Hmm. So, that's a very small ship for all those pirates. Maybe we can help them out a little bit. We got this person in the cannon, or at the cannon. Cannon or, cannon near Marty. Don't disturb me. Can, can't you see I need to care for me, cannon? All right, well, hope you enjoy your, your cannon duties. And this is Pirate Captain Patty Eyepatch. Um, guys, I'm the one with the eye patch, and apparently I'm the only one seeing non-pirates watching it watching in our secret base. You idiot. These are the, the Seuss chefs you sent to help me. I did? They are? Huh. I don't remember you two at, at all. 
That was super rude of me. No offense taken, Captain. We're here to help. Um, you are pirates though, right? Uh, duh, look at me. Eye patch, hook hand, peg leg. Obviously we're pirates. I didn't see any ships when we were on the beach, you know, like a pirate ship, which pirates famously have. Hey, that is a bit of a conundrum. See, we came here looking for a legendary ship hidden on this island. Then a storm sunk our vessel before we could find the new one. We've been stuck here ever since. And you still haven't found the mystical ship? Aye. Legend says the pi pi parrots will tell you the way, but they've been rather cagey of late. Perhaps you could talk to the parrot language teacher, see what their problem is? Sure, I'd love to. And the chef's gonna run off. So talk to the the parrot language teacher, whoever that is, but we'll, we'll talk to some other people in the meantime. Hi. Oh, how I long for the sweet, softy spray of the open ocean. I yearn for the caress of its warm winds. Well, hopefully we can get, get you back out there soon, but for now I need to water down this. Oh, we're making a little teleporter. I don't know where the receiving end is, so maybe it's around here and I just haven't seen it. Uh, Not quite, but I'm sure we'll see it sooner or later. Because that's the ability we knocked in the last episode. It's been super useful. I don't know how to use the purple things just yet, but I'm guessing that's what we'll discover in today's episode, so that's exciting. But, uh-oh, the cannon. Whoa, hey, why would you do that for? Whoa, what the hell, dude? I've told you, told the cat in here to stop messing around. Sorry. I just don't understand why you have to keep blowing stuff up. All right, well, I guess it's up to us to fix it. Let's talk to you really quickly. You seem pretty smart for two Sue's chefs. Maybe you can figure out how to put, to get the parrots to tell us about the ship. Yep. I guess right now we just need to uh, build a bridge that leads both ends. So, oh boy. Um, we need to get the test robot to the goal for both of them and nothing may break. Last time I tried to do one of these, it was sort of a disaster. But what I like about this building one, but um, the staircase compared to the last one, is that this one, as you can see, actually has studs at the end of it, which makes it significantly easier to figure out. So we're going to, for right now, I think, just do something like this. Of course, we do need to make it sturdy because nothing may break, but um, maybe this is a good start. I'm a little nervous that maybe we should start with something like this. Just to, like I said, make it a bit sturdier. And then I can go across like this. But then from here, we could do maybe just a few steps outwards. And then remember, we can put these on for some extra stability. That's always what we should do because it just sort of helps add that extra layer. And this is won't look so pretty, but we'll, we'll do that there. Um. I might add a few more just to keep it distributed better. I do want to see what's the height difference here. Could I just make a ladder up? I think I could. Let's simulate this really quickly. If these two go onto here, will this break? First off, it won't break. So that's some really good signs so far. We're going to put this like this and then cover it up. We still have three ladders to our disposal, so I think that might be a great opportunity to at the least build something out like that. And then maybe get the steps here. That looks good. And then we can get more steps there. And we're almost there. If I could just, oh no. Um, get this like this. And then once again, let's duplicate some of these so that we could just put that there, get another one here. Let's see how strong that is. Will that break? It's not gonna break. Okay, we did it. This one was much easier than the last one. So look at this, we got our own bridge set up. Pretty cool. So where do we wanna go? Who do we wanna talk to? It looks like we have Pirate William. Cherry pie 249, apple pie 199, lemon marangue pie 279. These are the pie pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> All right. Oh, they're doing yoga too? Who ate my rum raisin ice cream? I was saving that for a special occasion. <laughs> All right. Bumbit's history, this used to be the bar, but we ran out of rum. So we returned it into it, we turned it into a yoga studio. It's really helped to keep all of us mindful and centered. Come back in the evening for our introductory peg leg pranayama course. Very fun, very fun. Um, 
And there's something over this way. I might as well slam this. I think it's a hermit crab, which the only thing we haven't found is somebody looking for hermit crab. So let's get another one here and hopefully we can deliver that whenever we do find that person. Cause that's gotta be here, of course. Oh, can I go? I don't think I'm supposed to do it this way, but if it works, it works, right? Uh, hi. Why is the land so stationary? It's uncomfortable. I miss the rocking of the waves. What about you? This is a uh, parrot language teacher. Ah, splice the main brace, me hearties. Whatever that means. Ah, finally a pirate who talks properly. Oh, my apologies. I'm the parrot teacher. I'm responsible for teaching these parrots how to speak Caribbean dialect. Pirate speak. We're hoping if we teach them how to speak, they can tell us where the legendary ship is located. The lessons are going to be rather bad, rather badly at the moment. One of the parrots flew off, and the others were so upset they destroyed vital school infrastructure. And they were just starting to grasp the difference between R and Yar. It's subtle, but important. Could you look for the missing parrot? According to the lookout, she flew into a mysterious cave on the beach. Okay, so mysterious cave. We'll look for it. Guess it's over there. You can reach the cave from, from there, but as you can see, the way is blocked right now. Maybe the cannoneer can help. Let's hope so. My parrot pupils refused to speak until you found their missing friend. Remember, she flew into that cave on the beach. So, I guess we'll have to go talk to the cannoneer, but, cannoneer, but for right now, let's head up this way. Talk to a few more people. Hello, this is Carpenter. I finally completed my magnum opus, the stunning watchtower. I've scavenged the wood each night for weeks then spend months crafting every inch. Isn't she beautiful? That was before I lost my hands in a poker game, that no hand Harvey. Now he's going around waving his hands, my hands all over the place. Oh no. Okay, so I'll have to go find no hand Harvey. Quartermaster Shanks. This cruise forgot the true pirate way, the three Gs. The three Gs? Gold, gunpowder, and good inter-team communication. None of them even turned up to my seminars. Well, at least I've got gunpowder covered. I'm in charge of the supplies, and I'll defend every grain of powder to my dying breath. All right then, so, didn't mean to do that again. <laughs> okay, so, I guess if we need gunpowder at some point, we can maybe go to them. Well, let's talk to you, oh, is this a zip line? Wait, 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 well, okay. I thought I was about to use it. I wanted to talk to them first. No, I can't. What? Okay, try again, one more time. Can I talk to you? There it is, peg leg specialist. It's my turn for lookout duty. I'd rather be in my workshop lovingly crafting a beautiful peg leg. All right, well, hopefully you can do that soon, but for right now, it looks like that's about everything in this area. So we need to talk to the cannoneer again, and this time we need them to purposely blow something up. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go, they're already on it. Okay, well never mind. we have to tell them one. Usually you don't have to tell somebody twice, now you don't even need to tell them once. I'm so sorry! Are you really sorry, or do you secretly want to blow up more things? Honestly, that last one. Explosions are so pretty. All right, well, can't blame me this time. That's exactly what we needed. Thanks for fixing the bridge. Now I get to blow it up all over again. No! All right, I'll try to contain myself. Breathe in and out. Imagine beautiful explosions, calming explosions. All right, well maybe you could try one of the yoga classes. So what do we got going on here? Another ladybug waiting for us, all sorts of critters. Nine more to go for the ladybugs. And then down this way, as we search for the missing parrot. Is there anything neat in here? So far, no. Oh wait, wait, here it is. What is this? It is a treasure chest, don't mind if I do. That is going to, of course, give us some of the clams. We have 10 clams, we need plenty more to go if we wanna buy some stuff at Boo's shop, but at least we know where the shop is this time, so that's a huge step up from last time. So I'll go this way for now, if I can. Oh, here we go, here we go. The camera's not really helping me out too much there, but that's all right. And I guess we'll just go up the ladder for now. I need to get the lasso for this area, because the lasso seems to be locked to each area that you find it in, it's sort of weird. Look at a rabbit, 11 more to go. What about over here, is there anything? Oh, there is, look at this. Okay, so let's materialize this thing. And then of course we're gonna have to change to the electrical power. Let's see where this brings us. Right down this way, we have of course another chest. I will happily grab that and get 10 more clams. We're up to 20 of them already. Definitely making some big strides so far. Zapping that and we're back to where we were. So. 
I will head up here for now and explore some of this. So, exit. And we'll talk to this person who seems to be a hermit pirate. Being a hermit is lonely. Can you bring me 20 hermit crabs to keep me company? Oh, you already found some? Please bring me more. So yeah, we still need to find nine more to make them happy. And there's always these little platforms wherever we find one of these sort of critter collectors. So I'll have to come back with all those hermit crabs to see what they sort of react with. Um, for right now though, I can zap this thing. And what will we find? Nothing. Okay, so I think the receiving end probably hasn't been unveiled just yet. So it's probably why that one doesn't work. But in the meantime, look at this chameleon. Nine more to go with that too. And I can go down that ladder, but ooh, we might find a new ability in here. That'd be so exciting. I think so. Whoa, yeah, definitely. Look, the missing parent. Let's find a way to reach her. She must be paralyzed with terror being so lost. Oh, Jim lad, squawk. Hmm, she seems okay, but we still need to get to her. So I don't know if there's really a way for me to do that right, whoa, now, okay, maybe there is. Fancy little platforms bringing me right over to here. This is so cool. So maybe the final power up for Rusty. What is that? Ooh, I feel all tingly. In fact, I feel lighter than air. If I concentrate, I think I can hover now and carry you at the same time. Whoa, so we have a hovering. So if I switch, is it a hoverboard? Whoa, that's so cool. Look at this guy, that's so fun. Awesome, okay, and there's also some other things I can interact with here, but I can't quite get to them at the moment. Nothing over there. This is awesome, and we move so much faster too, so definitely a cool upgrade. I need to get to this thing. Yeah, it's like the uh, dimension skill. And is this a platform that'll move when I stand on it? I guess not. Um, I love it though, that is so cool. We're gonna interact with this. Materialize this valve and just, oh, it moves some platforms around. Gotcha, so that's sort of good to keep in mind. I'm going to use the hover skill so that I can get up to this one. Maybe not the best move to do it there then, but let's interact with this one. Oh, okay, there's a lot going on here then. Um, how exactly do I want to manage it all is the question because Seems a little odd, right? So maybe I don't want to do this one just yet. Or I can do, well, 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 let's, we gotta do this to get it back down. So, okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Let's do that. And then I guess, do this. Yeah, that might be better for now. Let's do that, get back over there, and try this side. Okay, yeah, this is where things change up a little bit, because I can do this. Run all the way back over and break these open. And it doesn't seem like much, but I'm pretty sure that'll open us up to some other things. So now what I can do, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. What I can do is I can select this skill, go back down this way, make it so that this gets raised. Perfect. Go back up here, grab the red one, or not the red one, but the green one, right here, and then activate whatever this is supposed to be, some kind of lever, we'll materialize it, and we'll use that. Okay, and that allows us just to have a staircase now, so that actually adds a lot to our abilities, because now I can just walk down, I don't have to worry about it as much, so I can go back over here again, and I want to raise that platform to the left, so that I can grab the slam move. With the slam move, we can do a couple of things, I think. At the least, there's a few boxes I wanna break, just in case. I don't know exactly how much it'll contribute, but I can go like this, and just break these open. Okay, so once again, I don't know how much that really did, but I can also get up here, and then bring that over. So I don't think there's anything I can really do on this side right now. I can't climb down from this, right? Nope, I can't. So now I can grab the super cool hoverboard again though. So I really, this might be my favorite one. Is it the best one for last, the hoverboard? 
As we move a little bit faster with the two, it's just gonna be super nice just to have around. Um, dimension skill. Pull this lever and see what maybe what staircase this will activate. Ooh, that's gonna lower the treasure chest way up there, which is great, but how am I getting up there right now? It is sort of, oh, here we go. What I'm curious about, we need to materialize this thing so that I can get the hoverboard skill again. Can I go over the water? Oh, no, no, okay. I got really excited there for a moment, but you cannot. I don't see anything else I can really get to at the moment is the thing. Um, but there's gotta be a way across to there for sure. Oh, you know what? I know exactly how. Um, first, yeah, raise this. And what I have to do is get to this valve, but don't spin it all the way. Stop it right about there, perfect. Didn't really think about that, but now I did. And now I can get up here, no problem. Get up this side too. Do a little loop the loop whoa, that's so cool. All right, and boom, we get the treasure chest. That will save the parrot. We get, what, probably 50 more? We have 50 clams. I want to talk to you really quickly. Hi there, missing parrot. It's the missing parrot. Oh boy, this is the perfect time to practice my pirate speak. Parrot ahoy, matey. Ahoy, Jim Lats, quack. I think this parrot's, that's parrot for hello, it worked. Ahoy, Jim Lats, quack. Or maybe it's suck. We should bring it back to the parrot teacher. Maybe he can fix that. Ahoy, Jim Lats, quack. All right, so we'll take the missing parrot. You found it. Well, then it is now just a regular parrot. Okay, so bring the parrot back to the parrot language school. I will. So we're just going to hoverboard across to here and we're good to head out. So a really cool new move. I'm stuck. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was a little scared there for a moment. Uh, so where are we off to, I guess? Did I ever go down this way? I don't think I did. So we'll take a quick look around and it looks like I have, oh no, some water stuff I can do. And there is down that way, you can see in the very bottom right, the whip. Maybe I can get to that with this. That'd be perfect, so I'm gonna just wash away what I can, switch to the hoverboard, and go down here. Ooh, this is so cool. Wait, so what's down this way? Oh, this is where we, oh, I see exactly where we are. Interesting, so back up here, going to hoverboard up, whoa, doing some cool moves. What is this thing? It's a big barrel? I'm not quite sure, but the least I can free up another hermit crab. And I think that's all I can do in this area. Maybe at some point I can build, but it looks like for right now it's not open. But that's definitely going to be all of our different power-ups, so that's cool. So that means definitely in a future episode we'll be going back to some of the older spots so that we can uh, actually complete them with all of our power-ups available to us. We should be able to fully collect everything and complete different quests and such, and that'll be cool. So I guess I can't hoverboard across the bridge. There you go. I got it to work. And I do need to go and get some costumes from the captain, or the, not the captain, but the, the ghost, boo. But I might want to save it for now. Thanks for fixing the bridge, now I get to blow it up. Oh yeah, we already talked to you about this. So I don't need to worry about any of that. I do want to talk to the captain, or not the, uh, the language guy, that's who I need to talk to. It should be, I can't use that one? Huh, all right. I guess I'll just go down here and do it this way again. And let's talk to you really quickly. My lost parrot, oh thank you. I'm sure the others will be thrilled. Now all I need is to rebuild the school. Could you make my pupils a perch to sit on? Then we can resume lesson. All right then, so let's do that right over here. Build a sitting perch for all the parrots. So this one, it needs to be able to place all four of the parrots, keep balance and nothing may break, and we have to wait some time. So it will certainly be complicated but I'll give it my best shot. So I think the best way to do this one, ooh, it's, it's tricky because the only connections, oh, I see. Hmm. Well, yeah, all right. So what if I were to just focus on getting it lowered a little bit for now, but then I did something like this, uh, right about here, and then I should be able to put the first parrot on that if it wasn't too tall. Okay, good to know. Hmm. I guess I could, I just need to keep adding stuff to it, I think. So, I'll do something like that. 
and then maybe that. Would that still be too tall for the parent? Yeah, it would. That sort of messes a lot of things up, so we just gotta keep lowering it. There we go. And then maybe from here, I could do something, please. Let's see. Is it still too tall? Jeez, that's sort of ridiculous when you think about it. It's like, why doesn't it just give me more height to work with? Because these are bulky pieces, you know? Um, then I'll do something like this. And then we can maybe build a little bit from here. There we go, it's finally working out a little bit more. The only thing I'm concerned about is we just don't have enough space. But if I were to do this, is that too tall again? Because like, if it is, oh my gosh. I can't even get it on top of there. Uh, why not? It's really fussing with me right now. Uh, I don't think it works from there. Why not? <laughs> that is so weird. What is the point of that branch then? Um, all right, give me something like this then instead. And see, can, it just won't work. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to undo. I could just add it like this. That's a little underwhelming. And would this one fit there? No, the parrot's gonna be too much in the way. Uh, Okay, what I might want to do is that, and then something like this. And you can't rotate these, which is sort of silly. It makes everything so much more difficult for seemingly no reason. Okay, so, I mean, these we can rotate, of course, but. Okay, actually, that might work if this actually can sit on top of it, which it can't. Why? <laughs> what have I done to deserve that? Oh my gosh, it is, this feels ridiculous. Like it, it shouldn't work this way. Here, move that. And then do the same thing on, oh, that's my last one. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do these instead. And try this out. I could just make it go out a little bit farther. Let's see, is this a good idea? Don't tell me it's still too tall, that's ridiculous. Uh, I could do this, but now it's too far forward. How would you, how do you do this? <laughs> okay, move these guys back a little, um, and I know that these aren't matched up because of that, but I'll do what I can about it. Um, There you go. Move this back one and under, there we go. Okay, so maybe I could do something like that then. Move this, no back, move this over and under, and then same deal, just get this parrot here. I know it's not the prettiest looking perch, but what they want from me with this one is ridiculous with like the limited space you have. Let's simulate this, and it is perfectly balanced, so that's nice. Uh, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Everybody can learn. Uh, okay, what do you have to say about that? Thank you, hopefully Paula, Paulina, Paul, and Pollyanna will learn much better now that they have ample room. Maybe they don't know, they're not learning well because they don't, can't tell each other from each other. Now class, time for some recite, recitation practice. Repeat after me. Squawk, squark, squark, squawk, squark. Oh no, a break work. The beak work is the key, again, from the top. All right then. Okay, wait, they're just gonna do the same thing again. Uh, so now what? Now that we got the, the parrot back, maybe I talk to the captain again? Hi. You seem pretty smart for two sous chefs. Uh, if you can figure out how to get the parrot to tell us about the pirate ship. Okay, so maybe I talk to the parrot itself? I'm a little confused on what I do now. Talk, here we go. Polly want a cracker. Of course they do. Wait, they call the, they all call themselves Polly? Well, that's just confusing. Get a cracker from the cook then, okay. So let's go do that. I'll ride back over. We know exactly where the cook is from earlier. So I just have to travel south again. And go talk to the cook. The cook has to have a cracker, right? Seems like a basic cooking food. Let's try to, oh gosh, get across the bridge. Definitely need to warm up the, the hoverboard a little bit, but hello. Um cracker, um cracker? Do you believe that Francois is made of crackers? Very well, Francois will move mountains to acquire for those Hungry screech birds, a single cracker. But first, you'll be d doing something for Francois, no? Uh, you will bring me on poison? Whoa, you wanna see it, you poison? Are you joking? That's a horrible idea. 
incroyable. Poison. It's French for fish. Fetch Francois a fish and you will have your cracker. All right then, so let's go and get you a fish. I feel like that's pretty simple, right? We just gotta go to the fisher person, right? The fisherman um, that we, oh no, it was a fisher woman. That's right, and she was uh, down this way. Okay, so maybe this will actually have something to do with the story. But they couldn't find any fish. They could only find jewelry. Um, but maybe we could change things up now. Let's just go and talk to you and see what ends up happening. Look, you're not the only one who needs fish. I still only caught gems and stuff. It's making me so angry. If you can find some way to help me to calm down, I'll do my best to get you a fish. In times like these, the pirate code is clear. I need a rum. I have a better idea. One gift voucher for a free yoga course. Coming right up. Yoga? All right, if you fetch me a voucher, I'll give it a try. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. And while we're here, I might as well go into the shop and buy what I can. Hopefully we can afford at least one outfit. Ooh, I definitely want to do the, the, the pirate captain. The pirate code for 22 clams. Uh, covered in belts and buckles, comes with a mighty fine hook. Over this way we have the pirate peg leg. Uh, carries the air of a seasoned mariner and occasionally gets stuck in grooves. And then finally, the pirate bicorn. Uh, perfect for pirates who think they're twice as good as a unicorn. All right, so let's definitely go to our wardrobe and get that equipped. Like this, wear that one. And then this one. And then this one. There we go, we're looking all piratey. I like it. Let's head back out to our little adventure. We can argue with the captain about who the real captain is. Uh, so get a cracker from the cook. We already are working on all that. So to do that though, we need to go get a yoga pass from the other guys. So let's go and try to figure that out a little bit, shall we? Need to hoverboard all the way back over and go through. Uh oh, something's happening. No, don't explode the yoga! Don't do it! Ah, oh, you monster! That was their, their just, their way to calm down. Woo, did you see how big that explosion was? That was totally awesome. No. I'll behave, please don't put me in the Iron Maiden room. I really don't like that music, oh no. Maybe more of a fan of electronic? Oh shoot, if the captain finds out. Oh. Have you tried not blowing up everything in sight? It's in my nature, I can't fight it. All right, well, we'll talk to the captain. You seem pretty smart, okay. That's just, that's all that she's gonna say then. Um, let's talk to some people over here then. Cherry pie, okay, you don't really have too much more to say about it. Uh, who ate my rum raisin ice cream? Nobody seems to care. Even when the proverbial cannonballs of life smash through the proverbial walls of our yoga studio, it's crucial to remember to stay with it with your breath. Uh, remain calm and present in the moment and acknowledge the light in your center. So, do you want to leave it like it is or can we help you fix the broken walls? Oh, please fix the yoga studio. Sorry, that was, wasn't was very mindful of me. Just let me regain my center. All right then, so let's help rebuild the yoga studio. I don't remember what it looked like before, but we're going to build a relaxing yoga studio with bar elements. So for this one, we need to place a bartender, um, at least three bar stools, place at least two weights, and place the yoga mats. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be really complicated. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so bar stools. Oh, I see, I see. So what we could do, maybe just over here, you know, have the little bar. And did these go on the inside or the outside? I don't know. You know, I'm not really much of a bar goer. So we're just gonna assume that, that this is how it's supposed to look. Um, there you go. And then we will just sort of set a couple of these up. Yeah, they're not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be there, I guess. Uh, hmm. Maybe I could move some things around just a little bit. You know, just really make the most of it being in the back corner. And then same thing with this. Let's move you. And then just get these guys as close together as possible. Because what we could do is just, once again, to make the most out of the space is to turn it like this. So we also need to figure out how to squeeze in the yoga mats here. And I feel like that's gonna be the difficult spot. We'll do that, okay. Um, so get another one. I think we'll get you in the corner here. So that'll be three. It only has to be three in total though. So we could just leave it like that. Um, but you know what, I've gone this far. 
I might as well put a fourth one. So, what about the yoga mat stuff? I mean, we can yeah, have a nice little exercise section in the back, I guess. I don't know if that's really a part of yoga is lifting weights, but they say so. I, I mean, I, I need to put at least two weights, so we'll get another one over here. And then I just put the yoga mat. So maybe this isn't as complicated as I thought. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing. Uh, but, okay, here we go, finish. They seem to be happy about it, so I'll take it. Uh, can I talk to everybody though? Uh, this maybe wasn't the best spot for everything. Hello. A free yoga course? That's got a retail value of four gold coins and you want me just to give it away? I'll tell you what. I want to help one of my students. She's been struggling to find balance because she's the only one, she only has the one leg. All right. Uh, I'll give you the course if you bring me a good quality peg leg from the from our specialist. You can find her in the or him in the watchtower. Okay, so sure. Let's go and try to figure that out then. Um we'll hoverboard over. And talk to uh the specialist. No, oh my gosh, it's so silly. So very silly. I just want to talk to the the specialist over here. The uh Peg leg specialist. If you need a peg leg, you've come to the right place. All I need is a piece of driftwood. Oh my gosh, this is like one fetch quest. Everybody needs something. One piece of driftwood, aye aye. So, go on the beach now. I can, can't make that peg leg without a nice piece of driftwood. So we gotta go on the beach, which this whole area is one big beach. So, I don't know exactly where it's gonna be. But we'll try to look around a little bit, maybe near the yoga studio or something, or maybe even back this way. No, this is where we found a hermit crab, I think. Anything else around here doesn't look like it. I could hoverboard over here though. I don't think this was a thing before. Wee! And then we can zap our way over to something. This is peculiar. Uh, am I stuck? I think I'm stuck again. Um, this time I can't move. Like really, uh oh. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, I guess eventually it just stops, which is nice. Um, we're just going to zap. And where are we? Whoa, nice little shortcut, I guess. Let's go ahead and, well, it's not really a shortcut because I can't get back over there. I get some clams. Those are always good to have, but I still haven't found the driftwood. Oh, I think I see it over here by the store. Took me a moment to, you know, find it, but here we go. So, some driftwood. Uh, who knows how long this wood was adrift in the sea before landing on this beach. So now that I have that driftwood, I should be able to go all the way back to the peg leg specialist. It definitely is a, a fetch quest. I'm just running to this character, they're asking for that thing, we find that thing, we bring it to the other character, they ask for another thing. It just, it keeps going. So, let's uh, travel north. Oh, something's happening. Don't, don't do it. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, no, and they're stuck up there too? This is not good. Whoops, my bad, that one's on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think this person needs to go into some kind of therapy for exploding stuff. Uh, let's do what we can about this, I guess. How, how do we help? My watchtower, my beautiful watchtower. That was my masterpiece. Well, quick, you must build a new one. All right then, so I'll, I'll build a new one. Build a set of stairs to reach the top of the outlook. Whoa, so we're not even doing it the same way as we did before, okay. Well, that changes things up a lot. Um. So, get the test robot to the goal and nothing may break. This is a lot different than it was before, but I do have a fair chunk of these stairs. So hopefully I can do something like that, but actually, hmm. Yeah, wait a minute, let's do it like this, and then put those on top. That's good, but I need them to be just one bit over. Got it, okay, so from there, I mean, I think this is right. Hmm. Maybe I should do this instead, and then I'll just put some of these under it. Because I want it to actually all connect, of course. If not, it's not going to be so good. There you go. Can the robot get up that? They can. Okay. That's all I need to check for right now. Now I want to... This is also odd. Um... Where can I put this? Probably not what I want right now then. So I could do this instead. And then from here, maybe keep building the staircase a little bit. 
Got it. Let's do one more. I still have a two more of them, so I don't know if that's as many as I'm going to need. You know, I think I might need more. It's a little concerning, but we'll just do what I can with what I have. We'll see where it gets me. Because so far this isn't so bad, like I'm building things up, and if I simulate this, will this break? I don't think it will. Yeah, so far it's sturdy. The only problem is I just don't have as many stairs as I'd like. But hopefully I can just, oh no, keep with what I have. Was that my last one? No, no, we have one more. So put that there. And for the rest of it, I guess I'll just, oh my goodness, I don't know. I have a lot of these. So what I could do, put that there, duplicate it, and then duplicate another one, put it like this, and like this. Oh no, uh, does that not work? I guess not. It would work like this, though. Seems a little silly, but as long as it can just get me onto that piece, which it would, um, then I can do something like this. And then I can just keep building this up a little bit, I think. It seems silly, but if it, if it gets me up there, it's all that really matters, right? So we're gonna see if that, that does work. No, no, no. Undo that. No, come on. Why is it not letting me? There it goes. Okay, so let's see if this works. It might fall apart on the way up, but we're gonna see together. Gets up here, this is where it gets a little scary, but it worked! I think, almost, it needs one little step up, I guess, which is odd, because I don't know if I can really even. That works, and that works, okay. Hopefully that's enough, I, I, I really have no clue. That last little step is the, the part that's not working out so well. And now you're stuck here, that is so silly. There's gotta be a way I can fix that then. Um, maybe just there, but it can't be too much. Maybe something like that. Come on, little robot, I know you can do it. I know you can. There we go, ah, come on! No way, no way. Um, there's gotta be a better way then. Um, like this? You'd think it would just be able to go up, no problem. Um but I might also want to, actually maybe I don't need to. Let's just try this, let's just try this. Why is it like this? Why is that last little ledge being such a problem? There we go, oh my goodness. So there we go, I rebuilt your thing. Ah, wonderful, not quite as beautiful as my work, but it will do. Now I must finally accept that I will never again hold a hammer or chisel. Oh yeah, because you have double hook hands, I just realized. If you got hooks for hands, why not using your hooks to make beautiful carvings? Why, you're right, this is brilliant. This might make an, me an even better artist. Thank you. All right, then, very cool. So let's get up this way and talk to you. Hi, peg leg specialist. Oh, now that is a piece of beechwood. And here you go, one peg leg is promised. Take good care of it, and I take pride in my craft. All right, so we get a peg leg, a primitive mobility aid, simple yet effective. So I need to bring this back to the yoga instructor so that they can give me a uh, yoga certificate. That would be great. Oh, there's something over here. Hold on, hold on. Didn't even see this before. It's gonna be the uh, return spot so we can actually get around a little faster. I wish I noticed that sooner. Oh wait, no, that brings me up here. Oh, okay, well, I was not expecting that. Where are we going? I have no clue. A valve that opens up a door over this way, okay. What else is up here? A little bird. Nine more to go. Okay, so back up this way. We'll hoverboard across. That is such a cool, cool little animation. So yeah, let's see what's, I gotta, I don't know why it gets stuck so often, but all you can do is just like wait here and wait for it to stop. There it goes. Um, just don't click anything, I suppose. We are going to enter through here. Oh, I see, where we can get another bunny. And that is going to be 10 more remaining. So really coming up to the end of it, pretty exciting. At least, you know, the second half. We'll find a lot more in the future episodes. Oh, I'm sort of going the wrong way. Let's go across this way, over to the yoga instructor. Almost there. Hi. What a perfect peg leg. My student will be so happy. This will really give her a leg up when it comes to finding her true balance. Ah, oh, matey, here's hoping you can draw her a treasure map to to her best self. 
<sighs> We've worked very hard to move beyond the Yar pirate stereotype. Take your coupon and go. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yoga voucher. Take some time to exercise and stretch. Very cool. So we'll bring this over to our fisherwoman front. And hopefully, that'll be everything we needed for everything else. At this point, we've we've been getting so many things for so many other people, I forget what our main goal was. To get the cracker from the cook. Yeah, I honestly did forget that. It's fine now. We're just gonna ride this boat, this raft, over to the other side. And now that we've made it, we can, uh, not you. No, no, it was you. Okay. But yeah, let's talk to you. Wow, just knowing that I can relax with some yoga soon has already made me more relaxed. And I've even already caught a fish now that I've let go of my expectations and started to embody the now. Very cool, it's a fish. If you don't know what this is, the description text won't help you. <laughs> Very nice, okay. Uh, now I can find relax and catch more fish. Thanks again. So we're off to the, the chef, who should just be right across the way. We'll give them the fish, they'll give us a cracker, we'll give the cracker to the bird, and hopefully everything will be in its right place. Very good, you've brought the fish. It maintenance, it maintenance, you will make me a water collector now. What, that wasn't part of the deal. Yes, chef, sorry chef, right away chef. Okay, a water collector way up there. So we know how to get up there, I think, right? It was over this way, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Let's get the little fancy move here. Find a way to collect rainwater. This was not a part of the deal. Uh, fill the keg with water, nothing may break. With water? I'm a little confused. Um, oh, that's what's gonna simulate. Oh, I get it, I get it, okay. That's neat, actually. Let's get some things set up like this. There we go, there's four of them. And then on each one we'll have a little base plate like that. And then I think on each side we'll have these little troughs sort of set up. A little irrigation. Got it. Put that there. And then, hmm. Because if we simulate that, that, that's a good start. Oh, you know what? Let's move these to the side so that I can raise them. I think that's what we're looking for here. So get that there and this here, and that's much better. I was like, why, like how would we do this? Now I understand. So this is good. And I guess I could do this. Oh, I see. Um, Cause then we can do this. We know that was perfect, there we go. Got it. And then, the problem is it has to lead straight in, so I almost want to make it even taller, I think. I guess for right now we'll do this. We'll, we'll see how this goes, if I just did this. Everything on the left side. It's landing pretty decently, but it's, it's now gonna get stopped up there. So, remove this, put, I guess, an extra piece there? I don't know if that'd be the best idea, actually. Um, cause I still have eight of these, which one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the problem is I couldn't really use too many more here without it, but I do have these. Hold on, so maybe I could actually. Cause I could just, there you go. Hold on, there you go. Awesome, so now I put these here. If this works, hopefully we can just duplicate it. Well, the thing is now I can't do that on the other side, but we do have these pieces too, so I can make more or less the same thing. Um, so we're not gonna worry about it too much. Just going to, oh no, put that there, put this here. Then, what can I do about this? Because as you can see, that's a little bit too much of a drop. That's not what we want. Yeah, right now I'm just sort of dedicated to figuring this out and then we'll try to figure out the rest of it later. Uh, maybe I should sort of flip the script on this. Do something like that. Then do this. And then I'll get one more about here. Okay. That's working out so far. 
I'm liking the concept. We just need to keep at it and hope that this, and then straight into there. So we get this one and that one, and then same deal. And then get this one right there and here. So let's see, on this left side, it catches a bunch of water and it needs to be filled up, the problem is. And it doesn't really go down very much. What am I gonna do about that? Huh, I don't know, but maybe it's enough. Maybe I could just replicate this on the other side as much as I can manage and just see what we get out of it. Okay, so let's see how this works. And I think what I was, ooh, yeah, what I was messing up there is these studs. When the studs are bare like that, as you can see, and some of the water falls out, but um, when the studs are open like that, what ends up happening is they get a little stuck on them. So I'm going to at least try this for now. If not, I might have to redesign some things because those just sort of fall straight in and that's not what we want. It's a lot, but it's not quite enough to fill it fully with water. Am I really gonna have to catch every single one of them though? Because that's gonna be extensive work then. Um, but what we could do for now, it's not perfect, but we can just do that. The problem is, won't some fall in the back? Sort of, but also not really. Um, what I can do is this right there. And then I have three left over. What if I were to just do something like that? That's a lot of the water to the left is actually rolling straight in. Okay, we're doing really good then. We just need a few more pieces, I think. So we're gonna put this here instead. Um, and then, oh yeah, that's right. Move this forward. Problem is I'm almost out of pieces, but that's okay actually. I have the perfect amount right there. Simulate. We're getting somewhere. That's gonna be all these rolling in no problem. And is it enough? It's not. We really need every single piece. So which ones are falling just straight off the side? There are a couple. Um, geez, that actually really stinks. What we can maybe do, it seems silly, but if this works, I think I want the shorter ones. Would that catch those ones? So far so good, yeah. So back, just trying to figure out which ones are falling off and make sure that those get covered. Simulate. Okay, two pieces fell off. Oh, now we got a bit of a traffic jam there. What do I do about that? What if I just simulated it again? Maybe this time I'll get luckier? Nah, same deal. Huh. So I guess I need to be a bit wider there? I don't know how to solve that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Maybe I just won't worry about it for the time being. I'm going to do that and just see what this does. Maybe this will help somehow. It does, except for that one little piece there. So I know how to solve that one. We could just, let's see, is this all of them? This is every single piece, this is extensive work. But we got it, we solved it. What a tricky thing that was. All right, very cool, very, very cool. Um, And I guess we're good just to head out of here, right? Talk to the, the chef again one more time, and hopefully we'll get our well-deserved cracker. All of this for one single cracker. Hi. Bon, and now you have your single cracker. Thanks. Francois performs miracles and all he gets is thanks. Mon Dieu, I performed several miracles for one cracker. I don't want to hear it. The simplest way to cast the turn my mouth into a desert spell. All right, well, we're out of here. I don't want to talk to the chef ever again. Too much work, too much work. Uh, Get up this way. And hopefully we'll be set now. I can ride my hoverboard over to this side, talk to the crackers. I want a cracker, exactly one cracker, squawk. The parrots are carefully defining the cracker up into tiny pieces so that they can each have an equal share. How nice of them. Squawk, our ahoy, the ship's hiding behind the skull, d-doy. The skull? Well, what do you know? The parrots did tell us where the ship was. Avast, keel haul, splice the main brace, you dogs. So find a way to get behind the skull rock. Well, I guess that's it right here. I mean, I know one person who can get through rocks pretty easily, and that's who's been causing us all these problems, so hopefully they can pay us back by exploding this. No, 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 not up here. Hold on, go back, go back. Whee! Oh, we have to go talk to you. Hey. Hey, you. 
I'm sorry, I can't stop blowing stuff up, I promise. It, it just satisfies this deep need to take things apart. Almost like the world was designed that way. Don't worry, we actually want you to blow something up. No, I've put that behind me. You won't tempt me to, to, to me back to my smashy ways. Bet you can't hit that giant skull over there. Oh, you wanna bet? Do not challenge the cannonator if you're not prepared for a blast. Oh, here we go. Boom, perfect shot. Direct hit. Anyone know a good dentist? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, do you hear that echo? There really is a cave behind that skull. So yeah, let's go over there and, and see it for ourselves then. Oh, oh, I see, that's what that one purple one was for the whole time. So we need to uh, hopefully go back over. There we go. And then maybe I'll just, ah, oh, I get stuck again. I love the hoverboard, but it's definitely a bit glitchy. Okay, so heading over this way, I just need to go into the cave. Whoa, that's so cool. So what can we do around here? First off, I do see a little something. I can interact with, materialize this thing, and then lower that door. But what is this way? Oh my, find a way to get behind the skull rock. Sure, so I will water this stuff up a little bit. I might need to change my positioning, but at the least this will reveal a little chameleon, it looks like. Really covered up in there. There we go, much better. Just a little bit more, and we're good. So we'll collect you, and that is eight more to go for the chameleon. I don't see anything else I can really interact with here, but if I go through the staircase, avoid the big bats flying around. And I guess, ooh, I could smash that. That would be good. Ready? Kaboom! And get that one bird. All right, eight more to go for the birds. Traveling west, what will we find? Ooh, the ship? Here it is, it is quite the ship indeed. There's tentacles coming out of it. Is this ship alive? It is exactly as the prophecy foretold. The ship was behind the skull all along. Let's make sure that she's seaworthy before telling the captain. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, the prophecy made no mention of a giant kraken in the ship, but maybe it's friendly? I sure hope so. So, I have to board the pirate ship. I can activate that thing, but rebuild the old cargo lift to get down into the sea cave. Okay, um, create the path to the lever, place all the big barrels and place all small barrels, as well as keep the balance, nothing may break and wait some time. Okay, this seems complicated. Um, So it's supposed to be a lift? I don't really have too many places where I can start building. I mean, I could probably build from under it, right? Yes, I can, okay. That won't hold much weight though, not at first, I don't think. I mean, what I could do is I could do this, and then this, and that should help it hold weight significantly, is by sort of creating this anchor point. We could do that. Yeah, that's gonna be a huge help, actually. And then on the back side, we could do that again. So a lot of weight can be held on this now a lot more easily, I think, <laughs> from the extent of my building knowledge. So for right now, I guess we could try to build a bigger platform for everything. So let's get something like this out there. And do a bit of this too. That way we can just start adding more and more to it. Uh, so a path to the lever, oh I see. So we need to make a little platform for it. Cause would that be enough? Would that be too much, too little? Would that, I think that would be a path to the, oh from there, okay, I see. Hmm. That is a little tricky, actually. I guess I could do that for now. I think that'd be tall enough, but I guess if I could put something under, uh, it's not quite, not quite where I need it to be. What I might do, move these over a little. Just like that, perfect. I think that would help a little. So I just need the extra space to actually build downwards. And then I need these to be under, just like that. And then I guess I could try, is that not, a, why is that not attached? Oh, I see, okay, wait a minute. 
you can't even build out here. So that seems super weird, doesn't it? Um, how exactly would I manage this? Because that's not going to be tall enough. What does it mean, path to the left? Like, I don't know, that's so weird. I don't understand how you would even do this then. Because I could do that, sure, but what else does it want here? Uh, if I simulate it. Okay, well, it's giving me the check mark for the path of the lever now, so I guess we're fine. Put some barrels there and simulate this, and we can just sort of see the balance. It's, it's way too overbalanced on that side, but Not doing too bad. So we just need to place all the small barrels wherever I can. Can I put them inside the other barrels? I guess not. Simulating this again. It's balanced enough. We do need to put three more of them now. That's where things get a little complicated. I don't know if I can fit three more of them. Now without adding a little extra. So what I might do Put that there so I can put a barrel here and a barrel there. And let's see how that works with balance. It's good enough, but this is quite the barge. All right, finish. If it, if it works, I'll take it. So let's walk over here, climb up, and interact. Whoa! Very dangerous little swing, but it worked. I can interact with this one. I can inter interact with the other one. Oh, it just brings it back up there. Okay, so that's what that does. Good to know. I could also rebuild if I wanted to, but what is this, inspecting? Seems pretty solid, but how are we going to get on board? Let's gather some driftwood and make ourselves a gangway. Ooh, okay, so we need to repair the gangway of the ship by getting more driftwood. For right now, can I zap this thing? No. Uh, I'm guessing that means that the other end of it still isn't found, but I do see another gecko or chameleon, whatever it is, waiting for us up here. So I'll break that open. And yeah, seven more to go, very, very cool. We will turn it to our hoverboard. Let's see where this brings us. Whoa, all the way around the ship and onto the other side where there's a cave. Okay, let's go into the cave then. It seems like there's a lot here. First, we can fill up the water. There's a treasure chest waiting for us down there too, which is exciting. That's gonna raise the treasure chest. I don't know if there's any way to undo the water filling, so hopefully that was like the right thing to do at that time but I can head down here. There's another one to fill up, actually. Hold on, back it up. There you go. And now it's raised a little bit more. Guess we need to raise it even more so, but in the meantime, I do see this lever. I can't quite reach it from here, but I might as well yeah, let it be accessible. Okay, not too much I can do here. Let's get back up and check out this side. Oh, what well, do you know? There's a third little pond, puddle, well, whatever it is, to fill up. So I'll definitely do that. And that should make it so that the treasure chest may be accessible. It's hard to tell. Um, but in the meantime, I can zap myself down here and do whatever there is to do here. Oh, get the bird. Yeah, there we go. Seven more to go. So how are we doing with progress? 52% complete, but 90% done the story. So I guess, you know, focusing on that's pretty important. For right now, we just need to run all the way back. And can I open that from here? Not quite, but I raised the water enough that I can activate this lever and lower the treasure chest. And that will give us probably another 50 clams. That'll be fantastic. So I definitely want to do that. Ta-da! 50 more clams for us. And what's on this side then? Oh, there's another hermit crab. Definitely grab you. Nine more to go. We're good there. All right then, travel south. And then I guess up this ladder, or we could go this way too. So it's all sort of looping around a little bit. Is this driftwood? Collect. Sturdy wooden blocks, a small piece of plastic pretending to be wood. Indeed it is. Let's see, up the staircase or the ladder. I always call them staircases for some reason. Can't zap that one just yet, but I could go over here. I'm pretty sure, yep, there was something to unveil. It is another lever. And that one opens up a door down there, so I could go back down. I might as well in a second, but there's some stuff up here. This was like sort of a, a one pathway, so 
What is this? Metal brackets, useful for making structurally sound constructions in real life. That should be enough material to rebuild the ramp. Cool. And then I see this here, this is a hoverboard thing. This will probably help me get back to where we came from, which is good and everything, but I need to go back down to grab some of the other stuff, I think. Um, so I, I sort of am curious, we'll see. Yeah, that brings me right back here. So good to know how everything loops around, but I'm stuck again. So we just gotta wait, there it is. Go back down like this. Was there anything, I still can't activate that one. What I can do, was it down here that the door was open? No, I don't think it was, it was down here. And into here. So let's see what this opened up, what we might be able to find. Ooh, it looks like one extra hermit crab as well as a little teleporter. We're finding so many things. So definitely just switch over to the water real quickly. See where that might lead? I can't get to it from here, but I have a feeling it's going to be the one that was up this way, right? Guess we'll see. Because where was it? That was right over here, and look at this, we can actually use this now. So, yep, I was right. We can just zap through, and now I'm here. A little bit of a mystery of what here is. Oh, it's, it's this side, so I can't do much on this spot specifically, but I can zap to this one. Where are we off to? We're way up here now. I'm a little confused on what's even happening, but uh, I guess I can get another rabbit. Leaving us with nine more to go. And I can, no, no, no. Hoverboard across this one. And then reveal this. Gonna be another teleporter, which hopefully gets me something so I can actually get that treasure chest, because if not, I've wasted a bunch of time here. Whoa, another bird, thank you. We are really getting a lot done here, this is crazy. Another one of these, we'll see where that one leads. Another treasure chest. How many clams are we up to in total at this point? 80, so it's not too bad. Let's hoverboard across, Wee! And with this, there's a water thing, this cave is so complicated. It's another teleporter, what do you know? But also a lever to interact with, which will lower another section. <laughs> they really jam-packed this area with so much stuff, it's cool. Where will this bring me? Back down there. <laughs> okay, we've gone full circle in some ways, and we get a ladybug for it. There's still more things to find in this cave too. We definitely missed a few things, but it's fine for now. We're going to build this. Build a gangway to get onto the ship. Okay, so the gangway, I'm pretty sure is just supposed to yeah, get the robot to the goal and nothing may break. The problem is we don't have many big pieces here, so I'll do what I can with it, but would this be? Oh, I see. A gangway is like a drop bridge, right? Is that how this works? I think so. Well, that makes everything a bit confusing. Um, How do I want to do this? What do these do? Um, Good question. So if I were just to maybe Build it like this instead? That might be better. Let's do this for a bit. Oh, you know what I could do to really beef it up? Okay, I see. Do this. Oh, that's exactly what it wants me to do. I understand now. Because that'll also make it a bit taller. And I think I put these pieces at the top or something that really make them like latch on. Let's do that. Oh no. So tricky to get it where I want it to go sometimes. Come on. So far, so good. And it looks like a gangway, like a little plank. Kind of, this is where you walk the plank, right? Not really. I mean, use it to board the ship. Okay, so if I did that one more time, would that be too tall? Oh, I see what I did. Not what I wanted. Oh, I'm out of them, that's why. Okay, so what if I... That's not quite gonna work. So I guess I could... Will it reach though? It does! Look at that, hooray, we did it. Let's finish. Very cool. Oh, and it's the pirate. She's so happy. Blimey, there's the legendary ship, but there's a Kraken in it. I wouldn't worry, it seems friendly. Besides, if you treat it well, you get you well, you get an awesome new pet for your, and a new ship. 
Hmm, R, you're right. A Kraken ship would turn heads everywhere. We, we go, all aboard. Very cool, so bring the ship in, uh, bring the ship into the pirate lagoon. Hi. We have a ship, Bricktastic. Now all we need to do is figure out how to move it from here into the lagoon. Ah, barnacles. So how do we do that? I guess by using the steering wheel? I guess so. Off we go! Hooray, this is so cool! So there we go. Hey guys, we got your ship! Bring the ship into the Pirate Lagoon. Completed. So I guess we can talk to you now. Just knowing that we have a boat again. Look at me, I'm tearing up over here. Thank you so much. You have really made this ragtag group of salty sea dogs mighty happy. I'm glad. And as you can see, with all that happiness, forms a happiness crystal. So let's go and grab what might be our final crystal. I'm not really sure if there'll be anything more after this. So I guess we should pick it up and see. We've got the power of a happiness crystal and another one. So let's go back to grandpa. He's chilling out over there. It seems we have gathered enough energy to perform another large scale transformation. I'm sure your grandpa's already waiting for us at the next area. Hey, over here. It looks like it's gonna be like an ice cream stand. Let's power the transformation device. Let's power it with the energy you gathered from the Caribbean. Or Caribbean? One of the two. I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, we're, we're taking all that. No, it's gonna be a big pirate ship float ride. Whoa, okay. It worked again. How about you design all the parts for this attraction now? Sure, so this one will be just one big part. Build an impressive ship swing. These rides are always so scary to me. Oh my gosh, there's so many pieces. Use at least 10 build, build elements. Build elements, place the seats, place the bow sprint. You know, when you see it. <laughs> and place the ship steering wheel. Okay, so I don't know if I wanna go crazy, crazy complicated with this one. Cause you know, these episodes go on for so long and I can only spend so much time building, but we, we can try something, you know? Uh, maybe I'll put some like doors and stuff on the side. This is by far the most complicated one. So maybe we'll do, yeah, something like that. That way it's nice and symmetrical. And I can do the same thing on the other side. Like that and like this, perfect. Okay, so there's a good foundation set up. And I think in between them, I don't really have the best pieces for that now that I'm looking at it. Uh, maybe I could just, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't quite know. Could try something like that, but it doesn't look so good, does it? But it looks fine. Uh, we'll do that and then the same thing on the other side. And then that'll sort of be like the base of it. If we could cover it up, we have 40 of these. So that's pretty crazy. Oh no, let's undo that. So there we go. I'm just going to add as many of these as I can at the moment. And it doesn't have to be um, super, I guess, safe in a way. You know, it just has to be workable. So I'm just going to cover it with whatever I can. So if this works, I'm happy to add it. There we go. Yeah, that looks good over on this, on the top is where we can add all of our actual ship features. So we need to place the steering wheel there and then four seats. I wish there was like little guardrails or something we can add. Only problem is, is this too tall, you know? Um, guess we're about to find out. Oh, I can maybe just, yeah, okay, you're gonna be a little to the side. You're gonna be a little to the side, it's okay. Um, and then put this thing here. There you go, <laughs> good enough for me, good enough for me. It's not the most crazy one, but wait for it. <laughs> here they come. A vast, you scurvy dogs, all hands on deck. There she is, remarkable enthusiasm. But phenomenal job, the whole park is up and running again. So I guess we just talked to our grandpa again. Hi, Grandpa. Was that the mayor by the gate? It is Mayor Rafita over here. Hi, Mayor. Hello, your mayorness. We haven't seen each other since, since the infinite ice cream machine incident. Yes, I haven't forgotten. Those poor tourists, so much brain freeze. Anyway, I've come to shut down this project and take this land back. There's no way you finally built those crazy contraptions. Uh, oh, my mistake. 
Yes, with the help of my tireless assistants here. I'm just so glad it's finally finished. And these attractions, are they safe? Entirely, I have checked the specifications 103 times while you've been speaking. Every ride is quite safe. And uh, you are? An advanced interstellar probe, launched several years ago, but improved upon and made sentient by alien benefactors, and gifted with advanced technological knowledge. Oh well, if an expert says it's safe, I'll let the whole town know. The theme park is open for business. Wait, what's powering this place? I promise to reduce this town's carbon footprint. Please relax, your mayorship. This park runs on pure happiness. Quite literally, thanks to my help. Hooray, <laughs> so we did it. We helped Gramps keep his lab open by building this amazing park. It explored so many different interesting worlds along the way. What an amazing Lego building adventure this was. And there we go, so that's going to be the end of the game. I had actually a lot of fun with this game. I didn't really know too much about it going into it. I had saw like one trailer where I was like, this looks cool, I wanna play it, and then I, I played it, and it was great. So I'm really glad I was able to play through it with you guys. It's really fun time, and of course, we'll play more LEGO games soon. Earlier this year, we played through LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and we're still chipping through the extensive uh, free room mode for that game. But this was a fun little LEGO detour, and definitely, I didn't know too much what to expect with it, like I said before, but they did a really solid job. I'm pretty sure this is the first time this developer has made a LEGO game, and they did an amazing sort of just job with everything. I know I'm repeating myself a little, but definitely I can't wait to see if they ever do anything more with this, if they add any more DLC or anything. I'll definitely check it out. With that being said, there is still more to explore in this game. We have to go through each and every area to collect all the little critters using the gadgets and moves that we learned along the way. So with that being said, stay tuned. There's more content in this game coming soon of us just getting the 100% completion. That'll be really cool. <laughs> the little cat. Oh, they're thanking all their kitties. That's so cute. All right. Um, But yeah, beyond that, I think we're good to wait for these credits to wrap up and see if there's anything more that we've now that we've completed the game. Okay, now that the credits are over, can we do anything? I guess we can just talk to them again. Thank you so, so much for helping me. This park has been my dream for as long as I can remember. I couldn't have done it without you. This place really is tremendous. Grandpa has outdone himself. Wait, he's your grandfather too? What? No, he changed his name to Grandpa 20 years ago. Everyone was calling him Grandpa anyway, so it seemed easiest. Interesting. All right then, so there we go. As you can see, we're still only 60% through the game. And that's because, like I said before, we need to go through the jungle, get all the chests, shops, animals. Same thing with you know the desert and everywhere else. We're 65% through the desert. We are 62% through the medieval world, the 50% through the city, and over this way, 65% uh, through the Caribbean. So there is still so much more to do, and we'll be getting started with all that in the next episode of LEGO Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.